Hi, welcome. This is Patrick Elder from thelandspot.com. I just wanted to uh, show you the new website that we just created. Um, hopefully this will make it quite a bit easier to uh, locate which properties are available and which ones are sold. So uh, let's take a look at the site. So we're on the home page right here. Um, <clears throat> if you need to uh, contact us, you can, here's a contact form. Um, same thing right here. Uh, if you go down, if, you, if you're looking to sell land, you can choose this button right here. Um, to sell your land and then if you go down uh, has some information about uh, just land in general and then here's another form um, and then when we go to the properties page we can choose see available land for sale so click that button and this will take us to the properties that are currently available so we can um, look at everything that's available right here so it should uh, clearly show you which ones are available which ones are sold if you see this uh, sold button it's obviously sold if it, <clears throat> if it doesn't have that then it's available and then uh, pending is just something that's an escrow so more than likely it will be sold but you never know it could become available again um, so just you know you can browse through these and then if you want to do a search um, you can sort it by dollar amount lowest to highest like that and it'll show you lowest dollar amount all the way down to highest and here's page two if you want to see more properties um, highest to lowest and then status will be uh, either available or unavailable so I can choose show me everything that's available right now and um, Right here, it'll show you everything that's currently available. Uh, the pending will show up in the available, um, but anything that's not pending, you can uh, safely assume that it's available. Uh, if you do want to buy the property, um, let's just say, for example, you want to buy this one. Um, it'll show for sale right here, and it has the property information. So here's the pictures. Um, where is your land uh, I guess where's your land located click here here's a map link that will bring you to exactly where the property is so it'll put a red pin right there on the Google map and that'll be the center of the property so you can see exactly where it's located and then if I click the map link right here um, you can see this is the actual parcel outline in Google Maps it's kind of a light gray rectangle right there so you can see that and then it's on here's the road it's on the west side of the property and then it'll have the description and then the property details um, so for example it'll have uh, property type this one's just land financial information this one's just a cash price um, California San Bernardino County the area that it's in the street uh, the acreage, APN number, the legal description, electricity, um, this would be off-grid, would need solar other or other alternative types of energy, um, the road, this would be a maintained dirt road access, and then uh, water, this would be alternative sources, which basically means um, you'd either put in a well or use alternative water sources because there's no, it's rural land, so there's no water lines in that area. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, oh, it has the zoning and then the annual taxes. Um, and then down here, it'll have directions to property below. So right here, it'll have Google Map Link. So this is a clickable map link that'll bring you to the center of the property, just like I showed you. Here are the GPS corners of the part of the parcel. So it'll have the northwest corner, northeast corner, southeast, and southwest. And these you can actually plug right into Google Maps. So if I wanted to copy and paste this, if I go to Google Maps, I can just paste this just like an address. And I'll hit search, and it'll show me the northwest corner. If I want to see the northeast corner, just do the same thing. And it'll show me right there. And if I want to see southeast corner, right 
there. And then southwest corner. So this makes it really helpful if you're going out to the land to you know, locate where the boundaries are. If you have a phone like an iPhone or something like that that has Google Maps on it, it makes it really easy to identify the boundaries. You can just copy and paste these into Google Maps and then when you're out here you can actually just walk right to where that pin is and that'll help you identify the boundaries. Um, the Google map links for the corners right here. So this is the exact same thing except we provide clickable map links. So if I go to the northwest corner I can just click right here and it'll do the same thing. It'll just put that red pin right where that corner is. And then if I want to see the northeast corner, same thing. It'll put a pin right where that corner is. So when you're out there you can just walk to right where that is and that'll help you identify the boundaries. Um, so keep in mind these are you know taken from the county website so they're approximate if you're ever planning to uh, build on it um, you probably want to hire a surveyor but this will give you a good idea of where the uh, the general um, corners of the property are and then right here it's not loaded yet but there is a uh, like a map for San Bernardino County and then it has another map for where the property is located um, so you can zoom in right on this map and see exactly where the property is so this particular one is um, not too far from Highway 58 in Kern County. So if I zoom out a little bit, I can see, you know, it's right near the highways and easy access. And um, <clears throat> so it should be, the new website should make it quite a bit easier to view everything. And now if you want to buy the property, um, all of the properties you can buy right online. So you just click here to buy now. And then, so this one is $1,997, $299 document fee. So the document fee includes all of your document preparation, which would be your deed and also the recording with the county. And uh, so basically, if you bought this property, you just, uh, it'll say, uh, what name would you like on the title recorded? Uh, for example, Mike Jones and Sally Jones, joint with right of survivorship. Um, so basically just put whatever name you want. So if it's individual name, you just put your name. If you want, you know, joint owners, you could put, um, you know, your name and then the other party's name, joint tenants, however you want to set that up. So we'll, we'll, we'll create it however, whatever you put right there. Um, you just put your address, phone, email, um, and then on the next page, you just click next and then you just make your payment. So you'll just pay the total of this and then uh, that's it. The property is sold and then we'll get your deed ready to go within about a week. Um, so it's a pretty fast process. Usually going to be within probably even under a week and then um, you'll get the original ink deed and also the recorded copy mailed to your address um, probably within about a week. So pretty quick but um, that's how you buy the land. If you do have any questions you can always feel free to um, call us anytime. So if you need to contact us Here's our phone number right here. Call us uh, anytime or you can send text messages as well, whatever you prefer. Um, here's another, if you want to contact us, you can just choose this button right here or you can uh, click contact us. And then uh, if I go down, okay, so it'll say connect with us and then here's a contact form. So if you have any questions or anything, you can just uh, submit them right here. But the fastest way is um, to just give us a call or send a text message. But if you want to contact us through here, you'll get a response pretty quickly as well. Um, but like I said, all the uh, properties are um, available online. So you can, you know, whenever you're ready, you can buy them right online with either debit or credit card. If you do need to arrange another payment method, um, just contact me and we'll set that up for you, no problem. Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope you like the website. Um, just feel free to call us anytime and um, I look forward to helping you. And, um, and that's it. So thank you very much.